anyways so we put our second coat of primer after we added the wings we had to do a little bit of fixing here uh, the legs actually snapped off I dropped it but we fixed it so first coat of primer is on and I find that the wings they may have not printed properly where they were not wide enough so what I did was I brought them down to the legs so uh, I kind of gave them that illusion that they, they're a bit better this one was I think a bit better it's a little higher up but yeah that's what I did so we put the primer on it this is gonna dry for 24 hours because uh, it's already like late and we'll uh, figure out the color scheme uh, to paint it in the next couple days all right stay tuned right, so we're gonna start painting up our dragon we're gonna go into a red kind of a breasting area here red breast area. so just slowly add a little bit of paint we'll just get that all put into red very very lightly and we'll try to keep a pattern going so that we can see where we're at um, how much we have to, to put in we'll make one red maybe one green and one yellow because these are like three different heads and I think the rest of the dragon we're going to try to give it a nice black so we can kind of overlap it a bit the red if we wanted to not gonna hurt because the black will cover it. See it here. This is a nice cherry red. It's a uh, it's an opaque. It's a testers brand, so this would be from Michaels. They don't sell it anymore. They don't sell it. You'd have to go online to get <clears throat> to get their product, which is too bad because I really like their product. Just building up the color slowly. You don't have to go too fast, too hard. Take your time. And painting. Probably the hardest part will be to get inside the neck here. So we'll try our best to get that covered without splashing it everywhere. Not easy, but it's possible. So go really slow. You can see that we did some overspray over here. So, let me get that out. Some overspray on this side of his neck. But that's okay, you will. Like I said, we can cover that with the black after. Maybe even take a brush to it if we have to. You want to get in all your angles. So you want to kind of flip it around. Now you can mask this stuff off too, resin. You can tape it off. So you don't hit the other colors and all that but i'm okay with a little bit of color everywhere because it sort of will fit its way in afterwards the colors will blend just my way of doing it right you do it your way out of mine get that tip dry out of there that's one thing that's really bad <coughs> is getting that tip really dry and then paint will flow I'm using about 18 to 20 PSI's for my paint. That just basically allows a little bit more paint to come out, a little air. So it's a heavier coverage. That's just the way I do it. It doesn't have to be done like that, but that's my way. And I really like to make sure that I can see things. So I'll be using my magnifying glass. I'm gonna stick to doing one part of the dragon first. So next we'll be we're gonna add our black. So we're just gonna slowly put some black on there. Now the black, when you when you wash out your airbrush, if there's still water in it, you'll end up getting it in your brush too. So you have to just sort of work it out. Get it really clean it well. 
I'll just keep on brushing until it kind of disappears or comes back. And just nice and black. And it all depends too. If you want to add more layers, take your time. lighten up where you want it to be. A little lighter. <clears throat> a little, little lighter. And then you can come back with the darker after. this guy dry till tomorrow. It's getting late. <clears throat> so we'll finish this up with other colors. That Stay tuned.
Hey, make sure you shut the fridge next time, eh? You guys go in the fridge, make sure you shut it. Well, somebody went in the fridge to take something out of there and it was open. Just saying. All right guys, so we are done the painting of the dragon. So I have to come upstairs because my lighting is really shitty down there. So let me turn you around to so show you where we're at. All right, so here we got our dragon, it's done. And you can see in certain lights, and that's what it's made for, I guess, is that uh, the colors are not, it's not just black. You can see it's got greens, some white, well, of course, there's the red, the yellow, and the green neck. We got the tongues red. We got the eyes red. The base we're not worried about because the base will be basically adding stuff to it later on. Our dragon is like a dark green-ish black. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that's where we are. You can see the highlights of the white in the, in the wings. Um, kind of like shadows you see the shadows coming off of here too you see how it's white in there that's a shadow well it's a white shadow huh. Funny. so <clears throat> yeah that's what I did I don't know so we started off with a print that didn't print out very well we ended up fixing it by welding it Probably going to be looking into maybe a 3D pen to do my new fixing because, I don't know, something, somebody was, just Carb Rob just mentioned it. And uh, I was thinking of getting one, but I wasn't sure. That'll maybe be my next purchase. So anyway, if you want to help out with the channel, you can donate anything you want to the tip jar. It's down there. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Let's get us bigger and better. Say hi, Missy. And, uh, yeah, if I can do it, you can do it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget, guys, choose your own path. Ooh, you gonna go check out the dragon? No? No. All right, say bye, Missy. Bye. Yeah, bye, Missy. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. See you on the next one. Hey, don't snip his butt. <laughs>